Hey guys, and welcome back to Fashion Beauty Glow. This is a super exciting video. I am beyond happy because this is my first fall makeup tutorial of the year, and I just love fall. I love all the colors, the clothing, the weather, everything about fall about fall is just perfect. So I came up with this look, which is super unique, very colorful, but in a more muted fall um, type of way. I did incorporate my favorite color, which is green, if you haven't noticed. And I also added some, you know, warm tones in there. So if you wanna learn how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I obviously have already done one eye, well, halfway. So I'm just going to start on the other eye and of course I start off by applying some primer so my eyeshadow will stay a lot longer and not crease. I went in with a big fluffy blending brush. This one is huge but I love it to just really buff out any transition, transition color and I used um, Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek which I am loving. I then picked up the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and with my Morphe MB13 brush, I think that's what it's called, let me see, yeah MB13, I picked up two medium brown colors, one is a tad bit warmer than the other but mixing them together really creates like a beautiful neutral medium brown and so just with a windshield wiper motion I buff that into my crease. Then with the Morphe M441. This is a really tapered blending brush. I'm going to grab a burnt orange color and apply that in the crease. Mixing some of that burnt orange color with a chocolate brown, I go back in with that brush and um, really define my crease. This brush is really good to just concentrate a color in a certain area so I just really wanted to add definition and um, depth into my crease. That chocolate brown color is the darkest color I use in this eye look. And then with a flat top, flat, flat top, flat shader brush from Urban Decay I go and I uh, put some Spray some Fix Plus on it so it'll the color will come out really, really pigmented. I pick up this beautiful, beautiful green um, shade and then just little by little blend it, build it up. As you notice, I don't just um, apply this color in one sweep. I build it up from starting from my lash line and then just build on it, build on it, and blend it out as I go. Take your time and blend everything out. Blending is key, guys. Then with the smaller, even smaller little flat, um, flat shader brush, I grab a matte cream color to highlight my brow bone and my inner tear duct. You guys can um, change this out for a, like a shimmering color. I just really love my matte highlights, and so it's just about preference. I did apply my winged eyeliner and my falsies off camera. For falsies, I use the... Ardell Demi Wispies and originally I wasn't gonna go for a thick liner but you know you just go with the flow that's how it turned out and for this look I really wanted something a really bright bright highlight so I used my honest not my honest I'm <laughs> getting ahead of myself my NARS uh, radiant creamy concealer and custard to conceal and brighten that area so I do set that um, cream with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, powder and banana. It comes in the contour kit. So I pick up that kit and um, I grab like the medium cooler brown color and just really define my cheekbones. I didn't want like a super concentrated, like super hardcore contour. I wanted more like a subtle you know, airbrush, air kit, sun kissed, um, bronze, bronzy glow. So on top of that, I did go in with my NYC bronzer in Sunny, and then just buff that out that color. Like you can see, I can just I'm just buffing it out and blending everything together. I did, however, contour my nose. I will always contour my nose. Guys, let me know if you guys want a highlight and contour video. I know I did a review and demo for the contour kit, but let me know if you want a more detailed um, version or, you know, video on that. 
For my lower lash line, I went in with peach smoothie again and then just buff that out and then on top of that you guys will see in a second there we go a uh, bright bright orange with that burnt orange again mix it and apply it right on top of peach smoothie so that gives me another pop of color you know that um orange but it's more subtle and then with that chocolate chocolate blonde well, i can't talk today with that chocolate brown i go in with a pencil brush and then just apply it as close to my lower lashes as possible. And then I was blocking you guys, but basically I just went in and applied a few layers of mascara on my bottom lashes. And that is it for the eyes. For lips, I went in with this Makeup Forever lipstick, which I love. It's perfect for the fall, and it's in the shade N9. So that was it for this fall makeup tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. Other than that, don't forget to love fashion, love yourself, and love life. Bye! Hey guys, and welcome back to Fashion Beauty Go. In case you haven't noticed, I have nothing on my lips, which is really strange for me. But this is because the 